Hi everyone, it's Gail. It's Mixed Media Monday and we're going to do some jelly printing. Um, I may use some Kathy Holden stencils today. So I want to say hi and hugs to Darcy, Susan, Mariah, Patricia, and Kathy, all the lovely ladies that I've used their stencils in the last few weeks of Mixed Media Monday. So, um, yeah, well, let's get started. Hi and hugs to those five ladies, and thank you so much for sharing your creativity, sharing your creativity, and just making lots of fun for all of us. So, um, okay, so today the focus... We're going to focus that is these. These are these are prints that need more. They just they just need a little something more. Oh, I kind of like that one the way it is. What do you think? Yeah, that'd be cute for um I think that'd be kind of cute for uh collage. Yeah, so let's just see. Let's see what all we can do with some of these. Okay. I'm going to start maybe with the 12 by 12, narrow it down a little bit. And um, like I say, this is a Kathy Holden stencil. Like I say, they just, they just need something. I don't know necessarily what, like this one, I feel like, I feel like it needs some black of some sort. Maybe to make it pop. Um, You know, one, I haven't used this one from Kathy Holden. This one is called Postage Stamp. Hmm, I got to think about that one. Let's just see what else we have in here. Okay, let me get all my most used ones out. This one, Floral Medallions. I haven't used it yet either. I love these stencils, though, by Kathy. They're wonderful. So, um, last I knew, they were available on iStencil.com. I'll put that in the um, description box below the video so you can go see if they're there. Okay, so let's, let's begin. Let us begin playing. Major paint goobers on this one. This one's old, old, old. But I need some more black. Um, grab a little something and try and get that paint goober out of there. And maybe it'll flow a little better. Oh, yeah. Sort of. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Gonna have black paint all over me. I've got paint all over me anyway. Wearing the painting clothes, I mean, I'm just all in today. So, hope you're having a good day. Hope you're in your craft room playing away and I'm just keeping you company. Can look up every now and again. <laughs> when I say, ooh, that's pretty, <laughs> that's what you should look up. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm going to put this on, and I'm just going just gonna to see what we do here. Get it pressed well down into the, into the pattern. Yeah, so probably a lot of these were like um, wipe-offs or whatever, or I just didn't get them completely done. This having a kind of finish it session is great. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yep, that added a lot. Okay, I like that. Um, What do I have over here for, got some other wipe off things. I'm gonna try and get a second pull with that. It's not going to be super painty, but we'll just see. See what we get here. There seem like, oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, that's nice. It seemed like there was a bit more paint in some areas, so. Sorry, I just moved that. I hope I didn't move it off camera. I can't tell. I have the worst camera holder over here in my um in my mixed media area. It's just it's just the worst. Okay, so ooh, all that black. Okay. Um now. I'm not mad about this one, so let's let's just lay it down and use up what's here there. And then I'm gonna lay this on and we're gonna pick up the paint off of that too. Maybe on this one. Why not? So these two prints are on deli paper which is the kind of paper um, that you wrap sandwiches in. <laughs> so you can get it on Amazon now. But when I first started jelly printing, Amazon wasn't a thing. And so um, I went down to the, the dive bakery here in town that... My daughter used to own it, and I knew the guy that she sold it to, you know, and been in there and stuff, and I went down and I said, can I buy some from you? Oh, that's not too bad. That's kind of cool. I don't know, might need a little something more, but it's not bad. Okay, and we got most of the paint off of the stencil. Uh, yeah, so I, he sold me a box of deli paper for like 20 bucks and I still have most of it. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I didn't think I was going to like this, but I do. That's cool. Mm, for a vi uh, real vintage journal or something. Actually, Halloween. I don't do Halloween journals, but if I did... Okay, so there's that one. Yay, we've got a couple done. Okay, what do we want to do next? Let's look at the papers and see. See, I don't have that many left, really. Um, what's this red one? What does it need? Definitely needs something. I um, feel like it needs green. I don't know. And this one probably needs pink, don't you think? I'm going to try that one. And let's, let's use some fairly light pink. And then it'll maybe pick up some of this black, too. That could be cool. We'll see. Yeah, so I don't know on... Amazon if you would look up deli paper or sandwich paper or something it's um sometimes they put that kind of paper whoops sometimes they kind of put that kind of paper um in your basket of fries so I don't know they eat there is even some with um, graphics on them and those are fun to play with too because then you have a little bit of the graphic in the background too okay so oh I should have got out a stencil huh um, I want a fairly let's use this one this one I don't know what it's called I'll try and tell you if I can it um, it is called cathedral Let's see what this does I don't know yeah I just wanted to get these finished up so they could be in my stack of you know um, things to collage with things to Put in backgrounds and stuff like that. 
And sometimes I cut them down for pages as well. Or the ones that are eight and a half by 11 can just be pages. Excuse me if I'm jiggling the camera, I probably am. Ooh, ooh, yeah, that's cool. See how it picked up a little bit of the black too? Oh yeah, that's awesome. Okay, that one's done. Um, I wonder this purple one, if we could pick up what's left on this purple one. Let's see. And there's paint on this as well. I'm going to bring this one back in and see if we can pull off a little bit of that paint. Let's see. Gosh, I'm videoing on a Friday, and I'm so excited it's Friday. Does, isn't that, doesn't that seem silly because I'm retired and at home and everything, but I try and take the weekends off of filming and stuff. It's there a little bit. It just adds a very subtle layer, so, and I used up the paint, so that's, that's a good thing. Okay, let's see if this is going to pull up kind of what's left there. Yep. Ooh. It is. It is. So that's interesting now. It was just plain purple, and now it's kind of got that. Okay, cool. That one's done. Do you know what we're only down to? We only have a couple, a couple left. This red one, I'm just kind of baffled what to do with it. It's got green already. It's very, it's very much, um, it's very much metallic. You know, maybe this one. Which is called, I don't know, it might be covered up. Um, yeah, it's called, I don't know, it's under there. It's under the, <laughs> under all the paint that I have on it. Okay, so what if we did like snowflakes? Let's just put white on it and see what happens. It's going to be white with a hint of pink. I don't know if I got enough there, but we'll give it a try. I think if I hurry, that's enough. Let's see. See what we get here. I don't know. It's kind of, I, I am, as I've said, my disclaimer is I'm no jelly printing expert. I just play around and see what I get. But in my experience, you need at least three layers, if not more, for a print to, to make me happy. <laughs> it usually needs that much. Okay, let's see. Oh, yeah. See, now that just finished that off really nicely. Okay, cool. Uh, that one's done. So this one... You know, I think I'm just going to tear this off and try and pull up with this one. I could try. I don't think there's much. I was kind of stingy with my paint, so I don't think there's much. But 
I'll try to get a little off on this. I don't think it's going to bring up much. No, it really didn't. Okay. So you're all dry, so that's good. <laughs> Meanwhile, we're going to try and see what we can get off on this one. Oh yeah, there's something there. It just kind of muted it a little bit is what it did. So this one still needs something. I'm not sure what. But now we've got this and we need to kind of take some of that off. Now, we're down to these kind of papers. This one might be kind of cool. Let's use like a goldy color. Um, let's use, yeah, raw sienna is a bit too dark. How about Naples yellow? Let's try that. Okay. And we're going to end up, I mean, since this is a 12 by 12, I'm just going to kind of maybe just do the top here. Otherwise, we're going to end up with a lot of leftover. And I, we just kind of finished <laughs> with the um, tag, so I don't necessarily want to make a whole bunch more. However, there is some yellow there. Let's see. Let's just put it right here. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, well, it's not as brown anymore. <laughs> it, it needs something else, though, definitely still. Okay, um, let's use a super light blue. And I'm just trying to get up the other layers <laughs> and I keep having to add another layer to get up another layer okay like this one that's just got I don't know what it's got but should have put that over more now I have a couple little Stripes. Can put that one there. What else do I have? I'm I'm down on my on all my things to be um to be finished up. Okay. Just gave a nice little light stripe down there. Okay. I'm hoping that this is gonna see. Oh yeah, this is pulling up quite a bit. Okay, it has all those colors and they're pretty well covered up. But I really like that kind of grungy background there. That's fun. Okay, so this one definitely needs like something 
think I'm going to use this one. Which is called no made in the USA olives. It's called olives. Okay, and I'm thinking I want like a burnt orange. That's the closest as I have. What is it called? Terracotta. Okay, and what I think, whoa, that's enough. Um, what I think is I want the the actual leaves on that one, so I'll have to I'm gonna go ahead and do the whole ah. I just put a bunch of paint off the edge. I'm gonna need to wipe that up, I'm afraid. Yeah, I got a little carried away. As I do, it happens. Okay, let me just get that before it ends up on me or the floor. Me, I wouldn't mind, but I just had my carpets cleaned. <laughs> Wouldn't you know, I jelly print right after I just had my carpets cleaned. Smart, Gail, smart. Okay, so I need to pick that up with something. So I'm looking over here at my things that need a bit more. Let's just try this one. See what we get. I just want to up what's in that negative space so I can have the actual leaves on my other print here. Did I even look at the clock when I started? I might have. I don't know. <laughs> we'll just go for a while and see where we get to. I don't think I did. I was too excited to get going. Trying to really get it down in those little cutouts. Okay, well, I like that. I mean, I think that's enough on that one. Okay. Um, I think I may try and pick some up with this. Because there's definitely more in the... How about we go hmm. that's kind of neat actually all right how's this one gonna be my camera jiggle. Ooh, that's cool. Still needs more, but I like that on there. Okay, let's pull you up. I'm going to put you down here. And maybe I'll put you there. And what else? I have to just go with one that's not got anything on it yet. Okay, it looks like this still has some stuff on it. So let's see what it'll do to this. Okay. 
Okay, well, that just added a little extra color. I actually really like that. I think it needs something darker. One, one more layer on that one. Okay, Let's see. Well, that's cute. Might as well just try and get a little more. Okay. Layer one on that. I wasn't going to start another tag, didn't I say that? Okay, well that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay. All right, let's see the one that we were wanting to do, how it turned out. Oh, I like it. Yeah, that's pretty. I feel like it might need a little brown too. Hmm. Okay, I'm not doing as good finishing off as I was with my, um, with my tags earlier. Let's see. Use this one. I love this one. This is probably my most used. And don't know if I'm gonna be able to tell you what it's called. Rose. Rose buds. Rose something. Rose something. It's under many layers of paint. <laughs> okay, I want a brown. Is this the brown that I was using? I oh, don't, that's violet. Um, I've got a brown in here, but heaven knows what it's going to be like. These are old paints. <laughs> oh, middle school boy, go away. Go away. <laughs> For the faint part, jelly printing with old brown paint. Oh, excuse my jiggle in the camera because I probably am. Oh my goodness, that is okay. Let's see. Put that there and. Do this one first. I'm hoping that this is going to be the last layer on this one. <sighs> just can't look at it. I just can't. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I don't want to look at that. I don't want to see that. Okay. Oh, yeah. See why I love this stencil so much? Doesn't that just look beautiful? I love that. Okay. Now, how about we try putting some on here, too? Just kind of pick up anything that's left, pretty much. Ooh. Pretty. Okay. It's very fun. Little fall tag happening there. Okay. That's pretty cool, too. I really like that. 
I know that that's a little bit, but there's there's traces of the brown there. Okay, so let's set that one over there to dry. All righty then. Um, is there any chance? Let me see. How is this? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to try this. I don't know how successful it's going to be. But I'm going to try and match this up. Where's that little rogue? Okay. I'm going to see if I can... I think it's like this. I don't know. I don't think it's going to match up. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Because so I was thinking it almost might outline those yellow flowers if I if I got it on there, sort of. I don't know. Let's see. You do sort of take the chance of completely ruining something, too. But I love that. Okay. Okay. Alrighty. I'm running out of table to put the, put the leftovers on. Okay. So now we probably want to clean this off. What do we have over here that we could? This one, definitely. I mean, it's hardly got anything on it. Okay, I'm going to use. What do we have? One of the colors that I like best is buttermilk. And th this is uh, paint that I just got at Hobby Lobby. But I always try and pick up a buttermilk because I use it all the time. I really, really do love it. Okay. Especially for kind of picking up some of this leftover, if you will. Okay, so I'm going to put this down and we'll see what else. I'll put that down. Do have anything in the rest of these that is brownish? This one. Brown on that side. my kind of clean up paper here. Put that there. And Ooh, that's interesting. Um, it'd be better if I could leave it dry for a long time, but when I'm filming, I really can't. So that's okay, though. It, it comes up somewhat. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah, isn't that interesting? Okay. Let's see. Oh 
Oh my gosh. I love that. Love that. That's going to become a page for sure. Okay. Okay, what's next? <laughs> oh, I would love to just finish these. Let's let's try and finish this guy. Um Yeah. Yellow pink pink and yellow hmm this is a cool one too I got Kathy Holden spread all over in my craft room right now um this one is parsley I'm having a moment of thinking, do I really? Okay, I have a thought. I am going to grab, let's see, where are those? They're in my box here. I have these masks that I made from glue from a glue gun. And I have these trees and I kind of want to use something like this because if I decide to make a digital out of it, I can't make a digital with somebody's stencil. So I think I'm going to put that there, that there, and this here. Hmm. I'm deciding should I spray them that's what's going through my head rather than try and do them on the jelly plate hmm Actually, I think what I'm going to try, because, you know, no harm, no foul. Let's try bring, bring over the top of this. Okay, so those are trees, in case you didn't couldn't tell what those were. <laughs> okay. I don't know how this is going to work at all. But what I'm going to try and do is brayer over the top of these and then lay them on this to... Okay, let's do them one at a time so I can be in camera. Okay. I don't know. Total experiment, people. Total experiment. So... I don't know where to put the paint exactly. Okay. No idea how this is going to work. Uncharted territory is what we're going into right now. Okay, so then let me grab this and I'm going to flop it down on here and I'm going to press down. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Let's see. Mm -hmm. It shows up, but just barely. The color is probably not dark enough. But let's mush it around in the paint some. I'll just use the same one. Sorry, I'm going to be slightly off camera for a second. I'm just pressing it down again. Hmm. 
mostly an epic fail, I'm going to say. I mean, it added a little bit of green, but not too much. Okay, so now you're all goobery, but where could we put you? It off here. <laughs> you don't know till you try though you know that's the thing that's, that's not bad okay okay so much for the homemade masks let's might as well add a little more and we'll put down a stencil and do something on something else Okay, I do want to use the parsley, so let's put parsley down here and grab something to put it on. Um, this one has the most kind of going on with it. So that's what it looks like now. And then we will just put her down on the parsley. And do we have a tag that the parsley would be cute on? And another tag. Okay, got her filled up. I feel like I might be going over time, you guys. I don't know. No, I think I have a little bit more based on my last video that I did. Okay. Okay, let's see these. Oh, that's kind of nice. This one. It's okay. There we go. A little bit on this edge. Nice. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty. It's very, if it looks very um, St. Patty's Day to me. <laughs> okay. Um, now, which I think I might use this one and see how that will do. And This one's very woodland colored. Okay. You can see it a little bit. I hope I can see this one better. Ooh, yeah. That a little bit of green and a little bit of brown. That's pretty. I feel like if we did a little, one of the rose ones on this, this one would be done. Okay, let's clean this one up. That's the thing. You end up making as many new bases 
as you do finishing off some prints. At least that's what I have found. Um, I think with this one, I'm going to put a, oops, I'm going to put uh, some of that craft card stock on here because this could be maybe a good base for a um, cover. I don't know. I keep, I'm, I'm starting to lose coordination, people. Okay. What did I do with my... There it is. Okay. I can never get it on there totally square. I don't think it's possible for me. <laughs> Just. Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave that for a minute while I dig down to my roses one. And just have to think of what color. I'm going I'm thinking either yellow or pink. Maybe we'll do pink just because it's just because it's roses. Ooh, yeah, it's gonna pull it. Ooh, that's interesting. Yeah, I like that. That could maybe use a pink rose, too. Um, I think I'm going to use this color. Plenty. Had a glue goober, that's why. I mean, a paint goober. How many times will I say that? Several. Apparently. <laughs> okay. This paint has seen better days, but it'll work. Okay. This. And. a little bit and let's put this right here okay what could use some pink flowers this could I don't know we may I think we have finished this tag I'm gonna put a little bit right here too. Yep, that tag's done. And you might ask, how do you know when it's done? I don't know. I just, it's just, I look at it and think, okay, that doesn't need anything more. Ooh, that's pretty. I think I, I might doodle around that one, go around the flowers a little bit, maybe with a black pen. We'll see, but that basically is done. Okay. Um, looking at all my other, let's, let's put this down and see what we can get. If we can get any more up with that. A um, little bit. Okay. Now I think I might take this and see what it would look like added to this. Yeah, didn't get it on straight again. Oh well. <laughs> Ooh, 
that's pretty. I'm gonna try and get a little on the edge right here where I missed. All right, needs more, but I like it so far. Okay, I am feeling like, let's see, I don't know, I think we might have about 10 minutes left or something, but it's like, what else do I want to do? Just kind of looking at my stuff here. Ooh, this one. This one's close to being done. It just needs, you know what it needs? It needs some of these other stencils. Where, what I do with Shaw's art, I can put it back over here. Huh, I can't find what I'm looking for. this one since I can't find the other one that I was looking for. This one is called stamp, postage stamp. And I don't know how it's going to be, but I think I want that on, not on there. Okay. So where's my black? There it is. We'll have to find one that can that can be the top layer. Okay, I'm gonna do this one guys and then we're gonna then we're gonna be done for today. I have jelly plated myself out. Done three videos though, so I'm a little bit ahead, which always feels good because especially with retreat and graduation coming up. There's just a lot on the old calendar. Okay. <gasps> All of my stencils just fell. That tells me it's time to be done. Okay, so let's grab something. I don't know what. Okay, this one's a hot mess, so I'm going to use it to kind of pick up some stuff here. Okay. I don't know that that's any better than it was, but that one and... one's a mess too. I'm going to try and get as much as I can there. Okay. Ooh, that one's actually pretty now. I love that. <laughs> that is really cool. Okay. Um, one more. Which is this one? This one's just sprays and stuff, I think. But I think I can get more. And I like how it's kind of puckery looking, like this one. See how that's kind of puckery looking? Okay. Yeah, that just gave it some black dots, more or less. Okay, so now I want this one go like this and that 
might be kind of cool. I don't know, we'll see. And then this one maybe. Let's see. Oh, just a couple of lines. And same here, but that's interesting. All right, so let's see how this is going to turn out. Ooh, cool. That one's cool. <laughs> Unexpectedly cool. I just didn't know how I was going to like this one, and I, I kind of love it. Okay, now I got to put some white on there to. Get the paint off. See, it just it just keeps going. It does. It just keeps going. And so we'll see what we get. See what we get with this. I think I might use the craft cardstock again just to have another base for a cover with this. And now we're going to be done. After this one, we are done, done, done. Gail, you can't do any more. You guys, I love this one. How fun is that? Okay, well, now I know. Now I know. So while that's laying on there, we're going to look at what we did real quick. Okay, so this one that I'm in love with, this one I'm also in love with, and this one just has a little bit more to it. So it's going to go back in the needs more pile. Um, this is the other one that we did with that, but it needs more too. So, but, but these two loving them okay then there's this one might need some doodling but maybe not this one i absolutely love love this one we got quite a lot done more than i thought we were going to that one's done this one's done kind of have to put it round because it's so shiny this one's done little grungy purple and we've got that one and that one and this one and this one and this one and then we finished this one tag so not bad. I still have a pile of stuff to do, but we did get quite a lot accomplished. I'm feeling happy about that. Okay, let's see if we can clean off. Oh yeah, this is going to clean off nicely. Ooh, that's a fun start for, for a cover, don't you think? Cool. Cool. Okay, guys, well, thank you so much for crafting with me, for jelly printing away today, I really. I did three three jelly print videos, but boy, once you've made the mess, you might as well, you know. So have a grateful day. Be kind always, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.